Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to draft a strapless bodice. So last week I made a trumpet skirt and I just happened to have some fabric left over so I thought that maybe this week I would make a two piece combination outfit. The instructions are really easy to follow and you'll be able to achieve a nice fitting strapless bodice. So in this tutorial you will need several things, one of them being a bodice block. So I will not be showing you how to make one, but you will need it to have as little bust ease as possible, but preferably one that has none. So first things first, you will need to trace around the front of your bodice. I understand that your bodice might end up looking different to mine because there are different tutorials out there but if yours does look like mine then you can go ahead and follow what I am doing. So my aim now is to redraw the dart legs so that they stem from the bust point and to find the bust point I'm just drawing some lines from the darts and I am crisscrossing where they meet. So my goal is to remove the side dart and I'll be doing this through some dart manipulation and there are different techniques to doing this, so you can just go ahead and do the technique that you find comfortable. I've now cut my bodice out, but I left the darts in just to show you what you need to do to close that side dart up. So once you've cut out your dart, you can go ahead and close up that side dart and just tape it down in place. If your bodice already looks like this, but your darts don't start from the bust point, you can go ahead and redraw them from the bust point. So the next stage involves finding the midpoint of the shoulder and drawing a line down from there to the bust point. Okay, so this is where the fun starts. So what you need to do is you need to open up your compass to the length of your bust radius. And you can just measure this out using a ruler. Put in the point of the compass on the bust point Draw a circle onto your bodice, and it doesn't matter if your circle extends outside the lines of the bodice. From the line coming down from the shoulder, you're going to measure on the circle one inch on both sides of that line and mark it. Also on either side of the dart legs, measure and mark half an inch on the circle. You now need to draw lines connecting the marks you made to the bust point and joining the bottom two marks to the end of the dart leg. Using the French curve, smooth out all the pointy bits. You should now have something that looks like this. So what I've just shown you is a method called contouring and it allows the bodice to fit to your curves more naturally. So this is the part where you have the freedom to do whatever you want with your bodice. I'm just going to draw a simple sweetheart neckline and you can just do that by following the circle. But if you want your neckline to be a little bit lower, you can just go ahead and draw a lower curve. The next stage is joining the open part of your bodice to the top of the side seam. As you can see, there's a gap there when I tried to do that but that can be fixed by adding some paper underneath and drawing over it. If you are larger chested, I would advise extending the length of the side seam so that you can get better coverage. So the final two pieces of the front part of your bodice should look like this. So now onto the back. So first thing you need to do is measure about four inches down from the neckline. And you're just gonna draw a horizontal line from that point. Then from the horizontal line, you're going to draw another vertical line straight down the middle of your darts. Redraw your darts from the point where your lines meet. As you can see, I've also extended the side seam, so that is the same length as the front side seam. Now draw a horizontal line from the top of your side seam to the centre back. There are many different ways that you can do the back, but I'm just going to close up the dart and leave it like that. I want the top part of the back piece to be diagonal, so I'm just drawing a line from the top of the side seam to the centre back. Last but not least, seam allowances. So just trace your pattern pieces onto another piece of paper and draw your seam allowances. And I'm leaving a one inch hem allowance. So 
so your three pattern pieces should look like this. So this is my final product, this is the front of it, this is the back of it and I have lined it with black fabric and this is the insides. So I have installed an invisible zip and a hook and eye. So thank you for watching my tutorial and I hope you enjoyed that and if you ever do make a strapless bodice then send it in, I'd love to see them. Bye bye!